Alright you guys, welcome back to another video. Um, end of the last video, we got the motor in. Um, so I haven't done much, all I've done is put the rocker cover on. Um, and this cover here, like your, yeah, whatever you call it. Uh, so I was a bit scared. I didn't tell you guys this, but I was a bit scared that the motor wasn't going to sit in there straight because the we had a bit of trouble putting the cross member in. Uh, it because it was the one what was in my wagon. Uh, I was scared it was going to be bent, and we had a lot of fucking fuck around and shit happened like putting it in. It was just not going right, and we actually measured it, and it was. I think like four mil closer or something on this side. Not hundred percent sure, but yeah, the motor is motor is no, it might be a little crooked. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. It looks a little crooked, but it's not bad. Like it's still loose, so like be able to fix that up easy. Like it's not like it's in there and it's bolted in straight and that, so it's good. Like if you look from above. So I can, it's straight. So that's good. Um, so originally, I think I said I was going to do a rear rad setup. I can't remember because the rad, like, it's a bit tight fixed, especially when you have the thermos. But I just cut the radiator support out. It's just there. So I can work around it and then just weld that back in with tabs or something. Just leave it, like, removable or something. Um, so I think the next plan is now to... Remove uh, your intake metafold so I can get the wiring out and send it to send it away and that way and I can paint it and everything. Got to get a fuel rail, um, injectors, probably take that off, make, um, don't know if I'm going to like cut the original flange off and add a T3 flange on there just to make it everything easier. Make a J pipe. I'm going to have to make the turbo sit here and obviously these fuel lines will be removed because I'm doing a rear fuel cell and that. Uh, so the dump pipe is going to be a tight fit but I think it will work. Uh, so yeah, today's video I'll probably remove intake manifold and give it a good clean and paint I think. And might even start removing the interior because I want to... Fully strip the interior, makes custom door cards. I've got to get a hold up, go this side so you can guys can see easier. Ooh, the spider webs everywhere. Got to get a dash made up just out of aluminium or something, just sheet metal. I'm not a fucking fabricator or whatnot. So, anyway, yeah, let's just. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going to work on this today because I just did the engine bay and clear because the engine bay was really sticky still but see it's smooth here and it's not sticky so i can actually lean on it without leaving dirt marks and shit over here it's just leaving dirt marks so yeah i'll probably just let that dry until tomorrow or something and then we'll smash out that intake tomorrow and also remove that uh, a lot of people probably wondering what am i doing because it's an na motor to support the mo turbo i'll be doing okay a lot of people you can run for people who don't know you can uh, done a lot of research i've had turbo falcons you can run about 10 psi on an na motor without doing anything to it and it'll probably last you forever um then once if you just do valve springs fuck, you can run uh i've got mates or oh, actually i've had a ba just an xt not an xr6 na motor with turbo gear slapped on it just your standard turbo gear slapped on it it e85 uh had just under 400 horsepower and it's still going. It's being thrashed by me, the next guy, and the guy who owns it now, and it's still going. So, yeah, and then all it had done was valve springs. So, valve springs, and it will last ages, but I'm going to do valve springs, head studs, and oil pump gears just to be extra safe. Um, yeah, and then it should... I'll be happy with 400 horsepower, to be honest. 400 horsepower on this thing, E85. I'll be friggin' stoked. Um, I reckon we can make that easy. So, yeah, anyway... Um, I'll probably do another clear coat and then we'll... Anyway, the next clip will probably be a time lapse of me removing this thing. So, yeah. Whenever that will be, I'll see you then. Alrighty, so... 
it's a new day, but we've got the manifold off, the exhaust manifold off. So now we can start working out a J pipe for that. Um, I think that's all I'll do today. Uh, engine bay is still a bit sticky and shit, so I might do another clear coat just to get it a bit less sticky. And that'll be the next thing we're pulling off is the intake manifold. So uh, the next clip will probably just be time lapsing, pulling the intake manifold off. So let's do that. Alrighty guys, um, to be honest, uh, it's been probably a week. I have been sick. I am still pretty sick. Um, I just had a bloody coughing attack before I started filming. <coughs> um, so, last clip, can't remember. But anyway, last, I was telling you guys how, <coughs> I think I was pulling the intake manifold off, which I've pulled that off. I've just got to get rid of the wire and everything. I'll give that all a nice clean up and whatnot. Um, obviously got rid of the fuel rail because I'll be running into the fuel rail, fuel rail and injectors and everything. Um, and I was telling you how the paint was really sticky and that. Um, I used, so I used this brand here. It was cheap. I thought it'd be fine, but it was just shit. It wasn't sticking to some places. So then I went and got this stuff and it was pretty good. Um, it was pretty, not too expensive, but like a lot better. But then I went and used I've already bought clear coat, the same brand as this stuff, and then it, I don't know, I'd say it was just a brand because it went shit and went yellow, so I decided to paint it again. Um, obviously, I need to go get another can. They didn't have any more cans, so like, obviously, you can see it's a bit streaky and that, so I still need to do another coat, but like, it's not sticky, it's smooth, it's like pretty glossy, like it's it just... It looks so much better than the white. So I'm glad I did that. And plus this is like the same sort of colour the car's going. With some pink sticker in and that. So I might do the interior. Obviously you're going to pull all the carpet still out. <coughs> um, I'll be doing that in this video. Because there's not much I can... Well, there's a lot i got to do on the motor. But um, I go to Gold Coast. Sorry guys, I just feel really sick still. Um... So I'm just trying to make a video uh, because I haven't uploaded in a while. But yeah, I go to Gold Coast um, Saturday. So it's Thursday today. I go to Gold Coast Saturday to pick up my bags for the ute. So I'll be doing a video on that this weekend. So I just want to get another video out on this before then. And then once that's bagged, all my money will be going towards this. We'll just be smashing this out. So I'll be... Looking for, I'm looking for a turbo manifold so we can make a J-pipe and everything and get all the turbo mounted. I want to get all the turbo stuff done, the motor done. Then I'll organise the wiring loom, um, the dash and all the switches and that. So you're probably wondering why this blanket's on it. It's because I've painted, <coughs> sorry guys, I fucking painted the turbo again. Painted it nice and pretty pink. Um, yeah, so I painted it pink just because that's the thing I want to go. Start painting this. But, when I, like I said, the clear was shit. So, for some reason, it's just fucked, the clear just fully fucked it up. So, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, just, I gotta fully strip this all the way back, which I'll do now. I'll just, yeah, strip it all the way back with a, like, wire brush or some on the grinder and that. Um, uh, so, it's Thursday. I'll probably upload this video Saturday morning. Um, that way, when I get back, from the Gold Coast, I can start making the video on the bags and installing them. So, what I'm going to do now is just quickly grind that all back and then we'll repaint that. And then probably tomorrow or even this afternoon, I might start stripping the interior. I'm not sure. But, yeah, whatever. I'll just get that rocker kind of done, put back on, and then we'll go from there. Also, just a little cover up for this out of an old boss coffee can the paint looks a bit rough there like i said the paint wipe underneath was bad and i didn't really want to fix it up too much but yeah at least it's all one color and a bit looks a bit decent uh yeah i think that's oh and i also want to paint this black the intake metaphor black so anyway i'll strip that paint that and i'll get back to you whatever i'm doing after that Alrighty guys, so 
It's been a couple of days since I filmed. I haven't been filming much. I was still really sick lately, so but I'm better now. I'm back at work. I um, actually got the day off today. A bit quiet at work, so yeah. Um, got the rocket car painted. Looking a lot better. Still not the best, obviously. Uh, a bit rough here and that, but it's not sticky, which is good. And it's all one colour, and I'm overpainting. I want to get other shit done on this car, so... I'm going to quickly chuck this on, and then I'll probably end the video there. Um, I've been, I'm also in the middle of filming the video for the bags. Um, <laughs> the bags are taking a lot longer than I expected. I had to put reset leafs in. Um, also, I had to order three-inch blocks because it wasn't, low, it wasn't as low as I wanted it, so I'm waiting on the three-inch blocks. Um, and to run the three inch blocks on 18 inch rims, I had to buy spaces, which I wanted spaces anyway, so I got some spaces on the way. Um, and what else? So we pretty much got the compressor wired in. Actually, I've got the reset leaves and the bags in. Um, just got all the lines and the wiring to do. Um, I thought I was doing pretty good, but then I ended up, turns out I was missing some instructions um, and I went, I got some looked at some videos or whatnot and ended up getting some photos off a mate we just ba bagged his with the same brand so that's good um so yeah i think i know what i'm pretty much doing now so i'll go probably work on that tomorrow uh finish it off it's at the mechanic um where i was working on it so I'll probably go finish it off tomorrow hopefully finish off it tomorrow and then that way finish off the bags anyway and that way i just got to put the blocks in and the spaces on so anyway enough of that car you'll see all that in the video next video i upload um i want to try upload a video a week i reckon that'd be good but anyway i'll quickly chuck this on and then we'll probably end the video there So, there it is. It's back on, for now. Anyway, um, probably wondering, I didn't put a new rocket cover gasket in there because I'm going to buy a VRS kit and have put all new gaskets all through the head, obviously. Um, well, that's got to come back off anyway when the valve's fucking springs, blah, 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 blah. i got to put... Ugh, I can't speak right now. I'm going to put the head studs and shit in, so... But, yeah. A um, bit different to the white and that, but I like it. I like it. It goes together. Um, got to obviously still do probably another two coats on the bay. Um, and we'll paint that and chuck that back on. The intake manifold. Wiring's out. Um, yeah, so I'm just still, obviously, like I said, I'm focusing on the my daily at the moment, the ute. And then once that's done, we'll be focusing on this for a fit, bit. But, um, I think I kind of want to get a bit done on the wagon as well so i'm not sure how much i'll actually do on this before we swap over i might even just finish this before just spend all my money on this so we can get it done um yeah or even just do it a lot of this roughly and then go back to it and clean it all up later on i don't know yet um yeah at the moment i'm just focusing on the motor and shit getting it sorted and then yeah but anyway um that's this video for now. I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be the bags and that on the ute. So, yeah. See you guys then.